In the shadow of high-profile international summits, under the restrained headlines of Western media and cautious statements from analysts, a process is unfolding that could permanently alter the global balance of power. China is no longer merely participating in the race for leadership in artificial intelligence. It is creating its own system in which AI is not a business tool, but a cornerstone of state strategy. This strategy is not based on spontaneous startups or market initiatives, but on coldly calculated centralized state developments spanning all levels, from training new scientific talent to constructing massive computing complexes comparable in scale to the nuclear programs of the last century. According to materials from a classified report by the Eurasia Intelligence Group, reviewed by Global Tech Review, over the past five years, China has invested more than $320 billion in AI development. These funds were allocated according to a strictly calculated scheme. 40% went to infrastructure, the creation of national data centers, development of proprietary chips and supercomputers, 35% to scientific research and applied development in key sectors, and the remaining 25% to a human capital program of unprecedented scale globally. A key element of this strategy is state-run research institutes. By 2025, 67 major AI research centers funded fully or partially by the government are operating in China. They do not work in isolation, but as a single network managed by the Central Commission for Science and Technology. According to a source at one of Beijing's tech parks, speaking to journalists from South China Technology Journal, each center receives a clear work directive. Some focus on neural network architectures, some on quantum accelerators for AI, and others on new language models tailored to Chinese specifics. All results are consolidated into unified national databases, and decisions are promptly integrated into the real economy. Particular attention is given to the program for constructing next-generation computing nodes. The Chinese authorities launched a national project codenamed Heavenly Network, which involves building 24 ultra-powerful data centers across the country. Each functions as a strategic facility, protected and upgraded like a military base. According to analysts at Stratpol Tech, these centers operate on proprietary processors developed by SMIC and Huawei and are linked into a distributed system capable of handling state-scale tasks, from climate modeling to defense operations planning. Special emphasis is placed on software, Unlike in the United States, where AI developments are fragmented, China has created a national platform called RedMind. It is not merely a language model or a set of algorithms. It is a comprehensive ecosystem comprising dozens of modules capable of operating autonomously and interacting with each other. It is applied in the economy, industry, the military, management systems, and education. The Red Mind architecture is designed to learn and adapt over time to the needs of the state, not the market. Sources in the research community note that this is the first instance globally where artificial intelligence is integrated into state administration as an element of strategic planning. Perhaps the most critical component of China's leap forward is its people. In recent years, the country has launched an extensive program to train new specialists in artificial intelligence. According to the Chinese Ministry of Education, more than 300,000 students are enrolled annually in national universities in fields related to machine learning, data analysis, and AI engineering. Since 2022, China has operated special AI high schools, advanced training institutions, where high school students are taught algorithmic thinking, programming languages, and neural network theory from an early age. After graduation, they are automatically assigned to universities and research centers. The state does not simply fund these programs. It is shaping a new type of elite. Leading universities such as Tsinghua, Peking University, and Shanghai Institute of Technology work closely with military academies and state research institutes. Students undergo accelerated programs, gaining access to supercomputers and real state projects from their first years. As a result, China produces every year an army of young specialists prepared not for corporate work, but to serve in the state science and technology system. At the same time, Beijing actively recruits foreign scientists. According to the Washington Sentinel, over the past two years, China has launched several closed programs to attract specialists from Europe, Israel, India, and even the United States. 
Contracts offer salaries twice as high as in the West, along with unlimited access to research infrastructure. Many who have faced bureaucracy and restrictions in the West agree willingly, bringing with them unique knowledge and experience. All of this takes place against the backdrop of unprecedented political support. China's top leadership considers artificial intelligence a strategic priority, comparable in importance to nuclear weapons in the 20th century. In 2017, a national AI development strategy was adopted, and in 2023, it was updated and expanded. It now covers not only technology and science, but also education, culture, economy, and security. Every region of China must have its own AI implementation plan, and progress reports are sent directly to the state council. American analysts acknowledge that this level of centralization and planning gives China a unique advantage. While in the United States, AI development depends on private corporations and venture capital decisions, in China, it is integrated into the state apparatus. This is not a corporate technology race. This is a race of nations, and China is running on a pre-marked track. According to a report by the Pacific Strategic Studies Institute, alongside infrastructure and education, China is actively developing applied state projects. One of the most ambitious is the National Cognitive Grid, an intelligent system for planning the economy and infrastructure in real time. It combines data from transport networks, industry, agriculture, energy, and trade. Algorithms analyze the data and propose optimal resource allocation scenarios, predict failures, and even provide recommendations to government authorities. Essentially, this is an attempt to create a digital brain for the country, a system capable of managing the economy as a single organism. Such projects cannot be implemented in countries with decentralized political systems where the state has limited access to data. China, thanks to a combination of political will, legislative tools, and technological capacity, has created conditions in which AI becomes not an overlay, but the foundation of state policy. Equally important is the aspect of international influence. China actively leverages its AI achievements to strengthen its economic and political presence abroad. State investments are directed toward joint projects with developing countries, the provision of computing power, educational programs, and infrastructure initiatives. According to an analyst at the Pacific Strategic Studies Institute, this allows Beijing to create technological allies and propagate its own AI standards, gradually forming a global ecosystem in which American companies and Western states play a catch-up role. Taken together, these measures create a unique strategic effect. China simultaneously develops technological, educational, economic, and military components integrating them into a single system under state control. Experts note that such integration is almost impossible in decentralized systems, where technological development depends on market factors. This is why Beijing gains what the United States cannot yet offer, a synergistic advantage that analysts believe could shift the global balance of power in the coming years.